A man and his horse trot around villages in rural Indonesia with a small stack of books hoping to encourage local children to read. Precious Ong will tell us why. In a rural area on the foot of Indonesia's active stratovolcano, Mount Slamet, 42-year-old Ridwan Sururi and his favorite horse Luna travel between schools carrying a collection of children's books. Sururi, who prefers to go by the name Ruri, spends three days a week leading Luna along the dirt tracks in this part of Indonesia's central Java province. His service, a mobile library known locally as the Horse Library, is free and his contribution entirely voluntary. The aim is to encourage local children to read, a social contribution Ruri believes is vital in the remote area that has limited access to reading materials. Library facilities are still rare in the area, Ruri said, with children having to travel around an hour to a nearby town to visit a library. Schools also do not tend to have resources outside the basic curriculum, Ruri added. Tujuan perpustakaan saya itu ya intinya menyebarkan bacaan ya. Kenapa saya pakai kuda? Kuda itu bagi saya untuk daya tarik lah bagi anak-anak. Mereka secara tidak langsung akan tumbuh minat untuk untuk membacanya. Jadi mereka itu lebih lebih senang karena diantar apa gimana ya. Indonesia's literacy levels are high. However, data released in 2012 from the Statistics Central Agency show that almost 92% of the population aged 10 years and over were more interested in watching television. Setting up in schools' football fields or playgrounds, he rests on Luna's back armed with a list of names and book titles to record who has what. The children, who are usually aged between 7 and 12 years old, say they are grateful for these visits. Saya senang banget kalau adanya perpustakaan kuda ini. Karena ya bisa belajar terus mengerjakan tugas sekolah itu bisa kan membantu. Tidak kalau biaya sama sekali tidak ada. Saya meminjam gratis semua dan keinginan saya semoga buku-bukunya semakin bertambah dan semua anak-anak di desa ini membaca dan semakin menjadi pintar. With Ruri and Luna's mobile library adding a little flair to reading, they might be able to encourage a few more children to pick up a book. Precious Ong reporting for Y News.